Hi there, I'm Dr. Elisa Peavy, and today is the first of many quick tip days where we'll be discussing how to be your healthiest you. Today we'll be talking about UTI prevention. So if you're one of those lucky ones who tends to have them on somewhat of a regular basis, check out my quick tips below. Number one, limit soda, all processed sugar, as well as highly acidic foods such as caffeine. All of these tend to make UTIs occur more frequently. Number two, if you're a female, always urinate after intercourse and make sure that you're wiping from front to back versus back to front. Number three, drink half your body weight in ounces of water every single day. Juice doesn't count, tea does not count. They are diuretics. They will not help keep you hydrated. Number four, celery juice. Oh, I love celery juice. Okay, let me tell you about celery juice. So this stuff is awesome. If you wanna learn more in depth, go to Anthony Williams' website and check him out. But it is amazing for the urinary system. In fact, it decreases uric acid production, which causes gout, and it increases urination. It's wonderful. So you wanna drink about 16 ounces of celery juice on an empty stomach first thing in the morning. And it's not just for the urinary system that this is helpful. So uh, please know that maybe even some GI symptoms that you're having, reflex, heartburn symptoms, etc., can also be improved using this uh, the juice every single day. Number five, D-Manos. Now this is a supplement that I recommend everybody takes if you are suffering from recurrent UTIs. I would take it every single day. It's just a simple natural sugar that is wonderful for preventing UTIs. Number six, take a daily probiotic. So when I say a daily probiotic, I want one that has at least eight or more different types of bacteria and at least 10 billion or more bacteria per capsule. This is very important. Number seven, cranberry pills, not cranberry juice. That's packed full of sugar, but the cranberry pills can give it an added benefit for UTI prevention. And lastly, Sometimes the diseases that we have are from an emotional component. So if you have done all of these things, you have tried everything, you are at the end, your doctors have not figured it out, look into the emotional component that might be going on for you. Go talk to someone who can help you clear this emotion because so many times that is all that it takes and the UTIs go away. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.